What's up guys, hope you're all doing great. Welcome back to another Premiere Pro tutorial. In this video, we're gonna talk about one of the most useful applications in Creative Cloud, and that is the Media Encoder. So the Media Encoder comes along with Premiere. In fact, it is part of your Adobe Creative Cloud, so you don't have to worry about getting a separate subscription because it's all included in the same suite. Now, there are a number of different reasons why I think Media Encoder is really useful, but for this video, I'm gonna share the two main reasons why I think it's such a handy application. The first one is that it basically gives you an ability to keep working in Premiere, even when your export is in process. Now, normally, if you're exporting a footage, Premiere is not gonna allow you to do anything else, and you just have to wait for the export to finish first. And it's absolutely fine if you have a really simple and small sequence as it's not gonna take too much time. But imagine if you have a really big sequence with lots of effects, then it's probably gonna take a lot more time to get exported. And during that time, you won't be able to work on projects in Premiere. So in this case, you can use the media encoder and all you have to do is click on this Q button in the export window and Premiere is gonna send this clip over to the media encoder where you can process your export. So let me show you right now and I'm gonna hit this Q button so you can see that Premiere has now sent this clip over to the media encoder and in here I just need to click on this green play icon at the top right to start the export process. And now I'm good to go back and carry on working in Premiere. So guys, as I said earlier, the media encoder gives you an ability to export your videos and at the same time you can keep working on your projects in Premiere. Not only this, but it also enables you to queue up several videos at the same time to export. Normally, if you're working on a sequence and you want to export that, then you can only export one clip at a time. But if I want to export multiple clips at the same time and also keep working in Premiere, then I can use Media Encoder. So in that case, all I have to do is select my clips in Premiere that I want to export. And once I'm here in the export window, I'm going to click on this queue button and Premiere will send these clips over to the Media Encoder to be queued up for export. And now I can go back and carry on working in Premiere. Now the other reason why I really like using the media encoder is because it allows me to convert and compress my files without needing to download any other applications on my computer. So let me go into my folder and here I have this .mov clip and guys MOVs are usually bigger than the MP4 so I just want to compress it and to do that I'm going to drag this and drop it on my media encoder. And now I'm just going to change the output type here to H264 and once I hit the screen play icon the media encoder will process this clip and will convert it into an mp4 simple as that and one thing more is that you also don't need to have premiere open to access the media encoder because you can access this on its own now there will be times when your clients will have specific requests that they may ask you for an mp4 or an AVI file and you can use the media encoder to convert the file formats. Another very useful thing you can do is you can actually export the same clip multiple times in different bit rates to compare the quality against each other. Let's see how we can do that. So I have this 4K footage over here in my folder and I'm just gonna drag and drop it on my media encoder. And now I'm gonna click on this duplicate icon over here at the top which will create another copy of the same clip. Now on the first one we have this high bit rate which you can see and now on this duplicated one I'm going to click on this preset option and now I'm going to choose this medium bit rate preset. All that's left to do is now to click on this green play icon and the media encoder will start exporting these files one by one. Now I can just go back in my premiere and I can keep working on my projects and once export is completed I can compare the quality of both my clips and can then choose which one I want to use. So guys really useful application and I just can't stress enough on how handy this media encoder can be. And what we discussed in this tutorial was that how you can queue up multiple videos at the same time and then export how you can compress your videos and how you can convert your video formats and then how you can export the same clips in different resolutions. So yeah, these are like some of the main features of Media Encoder that I wanted to cover off in this tutorial. Now, that's really it from me. Guys, I hope you found this video useful. I hope you like this video. As always, if you have any questions, anything you would like to ask, feel free to drop those in the comment section and I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. I'm now gonna see you in the next video. So till then, you take care of yourself.